Hello, this is Indu Shakti, Assistant Professor, Department of English, St. Joseph's College of Arts and Science Autonomous, Kadalur. Let's discuss the short story, Jim Baker's Blue Jay Yarn by Mark Twain. Samuel Lahon Clemens, known by the pen name Mark Twain, was a humorist, essayist, novelist, and also a short story writer. He is very popular in writing his reputed novels, which include The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. This short story, Blue Jay Yarn, was first published as a semi-autobiographical travelogue. And this is believed to be based on a story that Mark Twain heard from his good friend Jim Gills. The story is narrated in an elaborate, matter-of-fact tone, lending humor and wit to its events. Mark Twain usually has the themes of adventure, slavery and racism. And particularly in this short story, Blue Jay On, his themes include mischief, playfulness, the beauty, the chaos of nature and the spirit of adventure. The symbols used in this short story by the writer are the mischief and rebellion, freedom and independence. Blue Jay Yarn, the title signifies a far-fetched story which is entertaining and a tall tale expressing folk literature in a humorous way. Blue Jay are birds which has a strong command of language and with this language skill, the writer has connected the skill of his writings and explained the story with wit and humor. The story opens with an unnamed narrator declaring that animals can talk to each other. However, only one man he knows can understand them. A middle-aged miner in California named Jim Baker he lives in a remote forest in California. Baker had the opportunity to study animals intently and pick up their language. According to Baker, blue jays are the best talkers of all, he has observed. While many others have a limited vocabulary and no use of figures of speech, blue jays have a strong command of language. For this reason, these birds are very talkative. They enjoy showing off their skills. Baker contrasts blue jays with cats. While both have good grammar, cats are prone to excited fits and often devolve into swearing and improper language. Seven years ago, the only other man living in Baker's area relocated and left his house behind. The house is quaint with a plank roof and a single room. One Sunday morning, a blue jay descends on the house while Baker launches in front of his cabin with his cat. The bird then discovers a knot hole in the roof and studies it excitedly. When the blue jay decides to drop the acorn he had been carrying inside the hole, he ends up puzzled when he doesn't hear it fall. Peering at the hole from every angle, he concludes it must be very deep. He starts dropping more and more acorns inside the hole, but still cannot seem to fill it to the brim. Cousin, the blue jay resolves to fill the hole even if it takes him a century. After two and a half hours of dropping acorns inside the hole, the blue jay collapses from exhaustion. He peers inside the hole once more and is frustrated to see no sign of his labor. His swearing attracts the attention of another blue jay who comes by to ask him what the matter is. After the first blue jay relays his problem, the second yells for help and the third other birds join them on the roof. Soon, 
more and more blue jays arrive to peer inside the hole and they pitch their theories as to why it cannot be filled baker claims that 5000 birds were in the area at one point cussing and quarreling with each other like the first blue jay they are stumped by the problem of the hole finally an old blue jay decides to enter the house as the door is partially open he finds a corns scattered about the floor and yells at his companions that the mystery has been solved upon seeing the folly of trying to fill a whole house with acorns the first blue jay doubles up in laughter soon all the other birds follow suit baker ends the story by claiming that every 3 years flocks of blue jays from all over the country would visit the house and peer inside the hole while they all found humor in the situation an owl from nova scotia once visited the site and found nothing but funny about it thus the author ends the story with a wit and humor and the folly of the blue jay some of the critics often remark on the loose structure of the book in fact the inclusion of the story about the blue jay which took place in california comes from a story about a raven in europe that reminds mark twin of the story about the blue jay some other critics find the rambling course of the book to be hard to follow but others point out the merit of the book the blue jays are the intelligent birds which can communicate with their language skills and also with their wit and in a humorous way mark twin was himself such a master storyteller as he demonstrated in his career as a lecturer from his work on stage as well as as from the first hand contact with other storytellers he mastered not only the art of performing stories but also the art of writing them down as published tales few writers have recorded the oral tradition on the page as well as twin did in such pieces as jim baker's blue jay yarn reading the story tends to be anticlimactic unless one can either allowed or in the imagination read it so that jim baker's voice is heard in the hands of a fine performer this simple tale of some silly blue jays can still produce the laughter that it did when twin himself told it to his audiences the distinction between the comic and the witty story is clearly portrayed by mark twain in this short story blue jay yarn and he has placed the indigenous humoristic art form in the story thank you